Well, hey, everybody. You know, there's a good chance that you're one of the millions of Americans working from home these days. And if you're working from home, you still have to keep in contact with your team members. So you're probably doing some kind of uh, video conferencing with Zoom or Teams or something like that. Um, but my question to you is, have you given any thought at all to how other people perceive you through these little video cameras on your computer? Uh, it's not the most flattering view you can have. But there are things you can do to make yourself look better. In fact, if you do it right, you can look good. So, first take a shower. When you get up in the morning, take a shower. Put on some clean clothes. Maybe shave once in a while. All right? Nobody, nobody wants to think you got out of bed two minutes before the meeting started. Uh, the second thing is compose the whole picture. All right? You want people to concentrate on you and not a distracting background. So I don't... People don't want to see your, your expensive fireplace or your Pella windows or your expensive artwork. Just keep it simple, okay? Also, have some kind of a warm light source shining on your face. That way, the warmth of your skin tone will pop off in front of a cool background in the back. Also, compose the image such that you're not too close and you're not too far. And you want, you want to be able to use your hands and you want people to see your hands. So if you're making a point, like if you're angry or if you're happy, right, you want people to see your hands. Um, another thing is have some books or something in, in the composition. Now, not a lot of books, okay? We're not, we're not trying to communicate that you're a nerd, Unless you're an engineer, then, then you want lots and lots of books and, and patents and stuff like that. But for most of us, we just want a few simple books. Uh, I keep a, a, a book on space, Steve Jobs' book, a book on World War II. I've got some uh, business books. Now, of course, I haven't actually read any of these, but they look good. And the titles communicate that I'm not just about technical things, but I also have a warmth and a human side to me. Uh, and that's really where the Steve Jobs books come in. Um, I also frame my books with some coffee cups because I work so many hours that I need coffee to help me stay awake. See how that works? That's what I'm communicating with that. Now, some people will say that it's not a good idea to have family pictures. I disagree. I think one or two family pictures is very good because again, it's all about what you're communicating. So having a family picture communicates to the world that you, you understand work-life balance. Um, and, and it also shows people that you've probably had sex, uh, which, which is good for your reputation. Um, now, all this is good, but you know how these meetings go, right? You get close to five o'clock and people are still yapping away. It's like, oh, we've got to finish this up. I recommend you set everything up such that you can quickly pivot to your second composition. So as you're talking about the budget, for instance, so... So uh, as I'm talking about the budget, see, it's, uh, budgets are important. You don't want to be over budget. You don't want to be under budget. Uh, you want to be on budget. Uh, by the way, how are the budgets doing and all that? So as you're walking back, crack open a nice cold one. Huh? That communicates, hey, man, this meeting's over. All right? Stop talking. Anybody, anybody uh, going to watch the... 1972 Rose Bowl tonight on TV? I am. So anyway, that's my advice to you on uh, effective Zoom video conferencing. And uh, I hope you're productive at home. Thank you.